Hello everyone, and welcome to PowerOps Portals Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduk, and this is tip number 123, using links and aliases in Fetch XML. Liquid is a very powerful language that allows you to pull information from Dataverse in different ways. In this tip, I'll cover how using links and aliases in your Fetch XML queries can reduce the number of queries that you need to do and improve the performance of your portal. In Liquid, there are a number of different ways you can retrieve data from Dataverse. First, you can use the Entities object to get records by their ID. Some portal-specific entities, like site settings and content snippets, can be accessed by name via special objects. You can also use the Fetch XML Liquid tag to execute your own Fetch XML query. Another Liquid syntax that generates queries to Dataverse is when you access records related to another record. For example, if you use the user object to get the current user's contact record, then use the dot notation to get its related parent account, this will cause the portal code to perform another query to get the account record. Doing another single query like that may not be the end of the world, but what if you are retrieving a related record for every record that you have that's in a list? One extra query for each of these items can really add up, if you have dozens or even hundreds of items in your list. If your list was generated using a fetch XML query, there is a better way, and that is to use the link entity node in your fetch XML, and then to reference the related records information using the alias. As an example, let's say we want to show a table that includes all the contacts in our system, of which there are 100, along with the contacts parent accounts phone number. If we just query for the contacts, and then use the dot notation to get the parent account, we'll end up with 101 queries, one for the initial list of contacts, and 100 more to get the parent account for each contact. Instead, let's use a link entity in our fetch XML, and we'll give that link entity an alias. Now in our liquid, we can reference the attributes of that related record using a syntax that includes the alias, followed by a dot, followed by the attribute name. Now we get all the same information, but in a single query. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Apps Portals tip number 123 on using links and aliases in Fetch XML useful.